O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sins. From earthborn passion set me free, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray, through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. Accept us, Lord, since we come with contrite heart and humbled spirit, that our sacrifice be pleasing to you today, Lord God. I call to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense. The raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth. Keep watch, O Lord, at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or approves me his kindness, but let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their prince is thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Both now and for ages and end amen. Accept us, Lord, since we come with contrite heart and humble spirit, that our sacrifice be pleasing to you today, Lord God. If you call, the Lord will hear you. If you cry to him, he will say, Here I am. Though my voice I cry to the Lord, though my voice I entreat the Lord, I pour my trouble before him, I tell him all my distress. 
or my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path, and the way where I shall walk. They've hidden a snare to entrap me. Look at my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living, listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. If you call, the Lord will hear you. If you cry to him, he will say, Here I am. Christ suffered for our sins. Innocent though he was, he suffered for the guilty, to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death. In the spirit he was raised to life. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God, a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ suffered for our sins. Innocent though he was, he suffered for the guilty, to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death. In the spirit he was raised to life. We urge this appeal upon you. You have received the grace of God. Do not let it go for nothing. God's own words are, In the hour of my favour I gave heed to you. On the day of deliverance I came to your aid. The hour of favour has now come. Now, I say, has the day of deliverance dawned. In order that our service may not be brought into discredit, we avoid giving offence in anything. As God's servants, we try to recommend ourselves in all circumstances. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Listen, Christ, to the prayers of those who cry to you. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hear us, Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you.
Man cannot live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things Sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit both now and forever, world without end. Man cannot live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let us give glory to Christ the Lord. He is our Master, our example, and our brother. Lord, give life to your people. Lord Jesus, you became a man like us in every way, but did not sin. May we open our lives to others, share their laughter and tears, and grow day by day in love. Lord, give life to your people. Let us serve you in the hungry and give you to eat. Let us see you in the thirsty and give you to drink. Lord, give life to you, your people. You raised up Lazarus from the dead. Call sinners from their living death to faith and repentance. Lord, give life to your people. May we live up to the example of Mary and the saints. May we follow you more perfectly in everything. Lord, give life to your people. Let the dead rise in your glory. Let them rejoice forever in your love. Lord, give life to your people. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through our, our annual Lenten observance, Lord, deepen our understanding of the mystery of Christ and make it a reality in the conduct of our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord 
bless us, and keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.